Hey guys, it's Mariah. Um, today I'm going to be doing a video for you called First Impressions and I'm going to start doing these videos when I'm about a 150 pages or so or less in a book and I'm basically just going to be telling you my initial thoughts on the book, just getting into it and what I'm feeling, how I'm liking it, that sort of thing. So today I'm going to be doing it for Samantha Shannon's book, The Bone Season. I just started this last night and I'm about 87 pages in or so and I am absolutely loving it. Like I cannot put it down. It is so good. It's all I want to do. All I want to do is read this book. So I wanted to go ahead and just give you my first impressions of it. So first off, I would definitely say this book has a more sci-fi feel to it than a fantasy feel. I feel like it's definitely billed as a fantasy type novel, but it definitely feels more sort of sci-fi-y. Um, because it is sort of set in a very relatable world to our own. There's just sort of this totalitarian type government that has taken over. And then there are these people in the world known as clairvoyants who can commune with the spirit world. So I don't know too much more than that. Like I said, I'm only 87 pages in. Um, and that is actually one of the criticisms that I have so far is that the world building is so detailed which is cool, like it really is an interesting world. However, in the beginning, um, it sort of just dumped you right into it and I didn't really have a good feel for what was going on. I was very confused um, for the first, probably about 25 pages or so. The way Samantha Shannon gives the information about the world, she kind of gives it to you in fits and starts throughout different scenarios that are taking place in the novel which is a cool way to do it because then you don't just get this really long, uh, you know, two chapter beginning information dump like some, um, you know, fantasy or alternate world books do where they just give you all the information up front. That's kind of dry, kind of boring to read through. So it does make you want to keep reading because you want to find more and more out about the world. So sort of a criticism, sort of a good thing mixed into one. Um, another thing that I really like about this book is that so far there's been a couple different sort of action type fight scenes and they were written extremely well. Like the action was very clear. I could see in my head exactly what was happening. It wasn't blurry like some action scenes can get so I really appreciated that. And then another thing that I'm really hoping we find out more about is who exactly Paige is like more of her personality. So Paige is the main female character in this book and so far we do know a lot about what she can do and what people like her can do but we don't have a ton of information about like what her personality is, what her likes and dislikes are, like who this girl actually is. We know what she looks like, we know like what her gift is but we don't know you know what does she like to do for fun. Uh, what are her interests? That sort of thing. Does she have any interests? I don't really know yet. So I'm really hoping to find out more about who Paige is, not just what she can do. Um, but like I said, so far I am just enjoying this book so much. I can't put it down. It is just really, really awesome. So I'm just hoping that it continues on as it has started and that um, I just love it all the way till the end. I did find out today that this series is supposed to be a seven book series, which I did not realize when I picked it up. I thought that the third book, which is coming out in just about a month or so, was going to be the end of the trilogy. However, apparently there's seven books, so after the third one is published, we still have four more to go. So it's going to be quite a long ride, um, but like I said, so far it's really good, so I am excited to continue. If you guys have read this book already, let me know in the comments below. Let me know what you're thinking. Um, and like I said, I'm just really excited to continue reading it and see how it goes and what all happens. I've heard some things about how it continues, so I do know a little bit more about it, um, but I don't know how everything is going to happen and how that all is going to fall into place. But definitely recommend it so far. Like I said, only 87 pages in, but so far, so good. Thanks so much for watching my video. I am going to be doing more of these first impression type videos in the future with different books that I'm reading. So until my next video, bye.